point what is superconductor in this point we are going to define superconductor with some example i said superconductor by name itself has infinity of conductivity superconductors are the materials which are having zero resistance the resistance of the superconductor is zero once the resistance is zero current flowing through the superconductor is infinity it means the current flows through the material which is chosen or which is acting as superconductor has no obstruction there will be no oppose to stop the current then how these superconductors are different from other materials we have three types of materials according to the flow of current conductors insulators and third one is semiconductors here we have classified the three substances conductors insulators and semiconductors these are the categories of the substances according to the flow of current we have ohm's law v equals to ir v is the voltage which is supplied to the conductor or the given by or the substance it may be any one either conductor insulator semiconductor i is the current flowing through the substance r is the resistance of the substance so from this equation current flowing through the substance i equals to v by r it means current i inversely proportional to r resistance if resistance is small current flowing through the substance is high if the substance has high resistance current flowing through the substance is less therefore according to the categories of conductors insulators and semiconductors conductors have very very less resistance i repeat once again conductors have very small resistance therefore they can allow the current to flow through the conductor even at room temperature the room temperature may be any value may be in the summer winter or rainy season examples are all the metals like iron copper etc the second one is insulators even at high very temperature very high temperature they will not allow the current to to, to flow through them the reason is the insulators have very high resistance we have the examples of plastic rubber wood this is the reason why when we do the house wiring or any electrical work at home or outside we use the rubber gloves rubber chappals or we use a wooden stand not to get the shock from the current so from these two categories conductors and insulators what we understand is conductors have very small less resistance even at room temperature now the temperature may be 28 to 29 degrees even now also current flows through them freely now like insulators examples i told as uh, iron co uh, copper etc they have very high resistance 
So we are not using them for uh, conduction. We are not at all using them for any electrical or electronics devices. And what about the semiconductors? Semiconductors are the materials which are having the resistance in between conductors and insulators. It means they do not have the conductivity or flow of current at room temperature. As I said at room temperature, at room temperature and they have very less resistance. But when you increase the temperature, their resistance will be low and the conduction takes place through the semiconductor. So from this, what we understand is whether it is any type of the material, conductor, insulator or semiconductor, the substance has certain resistance. Resistance opposes the current. So this resistance, when it opposes the current, then obviously the flow of current is obstructed. Then what is superconductor? How it is different from superconductor? The superconductor is the element or the material or the compound. I say compound, mixture of two or three elements also. Which has high resistance at room temperature, which acts as the insulator. But when we decrease the temperature of the substance, then it loses its resistance. This was first invented by the Dutch scientist Kammerling. When he was doing an experiment, then he suddenly found that the element mercury, even the helium and hydrogen, at very low temperature, about 0 0.5 Kelvin. I said in the temperature in Kelvin, not in degrees centigrades. 0 Kelvin equals to minus 273, minus 273 degrees centigrade. So, very temperature, temperature 0 Kelvin minus 273 degrees centigrade. At very low temperature, about 0 Kelvin, it depends upon the element. The substance loses its resistance completely. So, the resistance vanishes absolutely. There will be no obstruction for the current. Current flows freely, infinitely. This is called superconductivity, phenomenon of superconductivity. The phenomenon of superconductivity is observed first by Kammerling that the substance loses its resistance and has infinity of current flowing through that. Then how to obtain the superconductor? Whether the superconductor and the ordinary materials are same? No. Ordinary materials have resistance. But the superconductor has zero resistance. How to obtain the superconductor? How a superconductor exhibits? Whether it exhibits the superconductivity at all temperatures? Or is there any condition to exhibit the superconductivity? Here we have the answer here. Here we have to cool the substance, what we take for example mercury or aluminium. If at the room temperature they have the resistance, high resistance as I said. But when we cool below the 0 degree centigrade, it will be in minus. At some temperature, they lose their resistance. The temperature at which they lose their resistance is known as critical temperature. So, this is the critical temperature. Critical temperature is the 
temperature where the substance loses the resistance and critical temperature is denoted by a symbol we have the symbol here t c t stands for temperature c stands for critical so critical temperature is the temperature where the substance given substance loses its resistance and we have to observe that whether this value is same for all the substances or not i said this value depends upon the substance the substance what we have taken and here we have the example of superconductors which can exhibit the superconductivity which can act as superconductors mercury this is the element which is which was first found that it can exhibit the superconductor so at 4.1 at 4.15 kelvin it exhibit the superconductor it acts as the superconductor 4.1 kelvin means minus 273 plus 4.15 how much minus 270 uh sorry this will be minus 269 268 something at this temperature it acts as superconductivity and we have other examples also here cadmium that critical temperature is 0.56 kelvin tungsten 0.0 kelvin aluminum 1.1 kelvin so these are the few examples later i will give you